Is Vivek Ramswamy America's only hope? We're going to dive into that question. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Reborn Russell. And today we're going to look at is Vivek Ranswamy America's only hope? We're going to look at as a Christian, should you vote for Vivek Ramswamy? But please, first, if you could like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and set it to all so you can get all my videos so we can go over the things of this world in light of the Bible. So Vivek is definitely a front runner of the Republican Party. Well, besides, you know. Trump. But we'll talk about him more in another video. I ran across this clip of Vivek talking to a Christian voter. And I found what he said very interesting. Because maybe you don't know. But Vivek is a Hindu. He likes to use a lot of biblical allegories in his speeches. And he'll say things that are Bible related, but he doesn't actually believe in the Christian Bible. So let's take a look at this clip and how Vivek responds to a question about Jesus Christ. So I'll be very honest, it's not a hard question at all. So in, in our faith tradition, Jesus Christ is a son of God. I know that is different than saying he's the son of God. But that is my view of Jesus Christ. He's got our family. Do we worship in churches? Yes, we do. Is that compatible with our faith? Yes, it is. One true God in many forms. So that's different, and I understand that. That is different. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. I think, I think that that is the path. That is a path to heaven is the way we look at it. But belief in God is what we say. Yeah. Belief in the one true God. That's, that's the way I look at it. Wow. So what did you think of that video? Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. What do I think? I think it's pretty funny that he accidentally said the path instead of a path, which he corrected himself on because Jesus Christ is the path. But that's not what Vivek believes because he is a Hindu and he believes that Jesus Christ was just one path the way to God. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish, Islamic, Buddhist or Christian or Hindu as he is that all paths lead to God and that's his beliefs. Now as a Christian, can we vote for someone who believes that way? I will leave that between you and God. You should pray about that because is it better than voting in an atheist? Perhaps it is. Is it better than voting in a Satanist? Definitely. However, I do find it bizarre and not so truthful for a man who puts truth behind him all the time that you would quote the Bible, that you're going to use biblical allegories. I mean, personally, I think it's a little deceptive to do that just to get votes because that's what he's ultimately doing. Now, let me know what you think in the comments below. As a Christian, is it okay for you to vote for Vivek Ramswamy? Have we just come to a point where we're trying to vote for someone who's of the lesser evil? I mean, there are times when Vivek is completely truthful. I mean, he did admit he is a Hindu, which I think that if Nancy Pelosi or one of these other type of Republicans or Democrats like that, they wouldn't even admit if they were Hindu, like Obama, who said he was Muslim and said he was Christian and then gave a speech about how America is a secular nation and is no longer a Christian nation and, and really put a curse on our nation in doing so. So is Vivek the only hope for America? No. Jesus Christ is the only hope for America. As Christians, we must remember John 14, 6, where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one gets to the Father but through me. 
mean, the Bible says the path is narrow that leads to heaven and wide is the path to destruction. So not everyone's getting into heaven. No matter how good they might seem and how good their policies might be. But hey, what do you think? Thanks for joining me. Remember, pray for our country. Pray for the people that are leading this country. Pray for your enemies because that's what Jesus said to do. Love one another. And remember to try and live a God-filled life.